This is Victor Martinez. And why have you not stopped by the MD Superstore? Come on now. I'm there all the time. You should be there too. Antoine Vaillant, for your speed. Nick, Hi, Nick. Nick, how you doing? Doing pretty good, you? I'm good. I'm sexy, man. Oh, <laughs> I know that. Oh my God. So, have you been competing this weekend, or? I was. That was a feature guest poser for the men's finals on Friday and Saturday. Yeah. When you were competing. I was. Yeah. <laughs> I was competing. Maybe I should have done a guest pose too. <laughs> so, um, so like it's 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 cool because you know, seeing somebody like. Um, on a chair like that, who's, who just doesn't care, like, goes to the gym, does his thing like that, and there's people, uh, <laughs> there's people out there who, like, they're just lazy, eating chips and Cheetos on, on the couch, and I'm like, man, if they can only see, like, more of guys like you, they would probably motivate themselves, so, man, if this guy is, like, on a chair, and he has the balls to go to the gym like that, maybe I should do something with my life, and, um, has it been hard for you at some point or you've always been like, screw this, I'm doing this? No, it's like when it was my accident, when it was back in 98, I was in an accident, I, my left front tire blew out, I was ejected in my driver's side window, my own car hit me in the back. It broke my back and damaged my spine and the doctors diagnosed me as paraplegic and they told me it'd be physically impossible to walk again. And I got devastated, I got depressed, I asked the Lord why me, I got anger. But then I felt like I didn't have no answer and I felt like I was alone and I wished that the accident would have taken my life. But then I realized it's like, what's the one thing you gain from losing everything in its perspective? Because when I got depressed, my weight went up to 300 pounds and I felt like I had nothing because I realized when you hit rock bottom, at least you have a rock. So I started looking at life in a different perspective instead of focusing on what I couldn't do, which at the time I felt like I was like I was an infant because I could barely even put on clothes myself. The nurses, the PT, OT had to help me and then it, I realized it was this life I was I was given a gift and that gift was a second chance and I just really focused on being the best that I can be and then eventually I realized that going back to high school because I was 16 at the time that I could still bench press so from that moment I realized if I couldn't do anything the one thing I could be was be stronger than everybody so I eventually got to the point when I was 19 I was benching 450 pounds and I dropped my weight to 170 pounds, pounds 450 pounds wow. Yeah, and I got to the point I was a two-time world powerlifting champion. I did that, and I graduated, and then I got involved with wheelchair bodybuilding back in 2005. And then I realized it wasn't about me, but it was about showing others that anything's possible. And that's the mindset that people really, really need. Because when they say, I can't do this, I have an excuse. An excuse is a well-planned lie. And if you want something, you got to put everything as a priority. An excuse is a well-planned lie. I love that. Yeah, and it's like you got to put your priorities because, like, just like us and just like Pete with this eating, we got to put things priority. What means the most to our lives? And when you do that, then you find you got something more. Because a lot of people say, you know, that there's more to life and everything like this, but the reality is you got to do something bigger than just doing it for yourself. Mm. Because why I do what I do is to help others okay. in the wheelchair butter. Yeah. Exactly. That's awesome, and it's about motivation. Um, I was training for the the show, and I was doing my cardio, the prowler, like uh, in the, this um, CrossFit room in my gym. And I was like, oh man, why am I doing this? And this girl, she came in, I don't know what the disability she had, but uh, like she, she could move with a um, little thing there and she couldn't move that much. But she went in the freaking gym beside me, was like jacked up and just did exercises, stretching, moving around with the ball. I'm like, man, that girl motivated m me enough than me more than Ronnie Coleman, than Jay Cutler, and all those guys. I just got up and I did like three more rounds of cardio just because of that girl. And I thought I was crazy and I was like, I got, I got like emotional watching that because I was like, man, she has the balls to go out of her house and come here and train. And me, I'm whining about doing cardio when I'm like, look like a bodybuilder that's healthy and stuff I'm like you whine out you whine about a lot of things though <laughs> shut up Pete <laughs> so it was it was very motivating and uh, I think it's awesome that you're that you're, you're there and you have a purpose now to motivate people like that so I uh, thank you Nick thanks man yeah, no yeah you're looking good man yeah. I, I, what do you think if I like grew a mohawk um, yeah I mean does it look good with a little rat tail here uh, <laughs> Sexy, you even got a, to a point of a V, baby. Oh, yeah. And actually, uh, backstage, a girl braided for it for me. Really? And I was like, man, if my mom sees this, she's going to kill me. <laughs> so what's the point of it? What's the point of whoop? 
What is that? No, there's no point. <laughs> yeah, show, show. What, what, do you, what do you call that? Let's, uh, let's give it a nickname. Pete, what do you want to call that? Oh um, a mullet? A bullet? <laughs> Instead of a mullet, you got a bullet. A, a bullet? It's a B? I don't know. A vulvalet? <laughs> yeah, make it French. Yeah. A, a lot of people have been telling me, like, Antoine, come on, what the hell is that rat tail? What the hell is that mustache? Shave that off. What, you want me to be a sheep and follow the line? Let me do what I want. Right. I mean, if you don't like my mustache, don't look at I mean, it. Every time I see you, you got another haircut. I don't know. I'm That's having, awesome. Yeah, I love it. Man. I'm having fun. I'm, I'm having fun with my own body. Can yeah. I do that, please? Yeah. You know. Yeah. So now let's talk about the Furious Pete. That's Furious so Pete is my good friend, and uh, he's actually one of the only guys in the industry that's helping me you know like because uh, I help a lot of people like uh, getting more popular being in my videos all my friends but this guy is actually one of the only guys who's helping me and I really appreciate that Pete yeah. and um, he's, not, he's actually on TV all the time in Germany right can you talk about that a little bit yeah I host a TV show in Germany we're doing a world tour for German television I've been doing it for the past four years so uh, yeah it, it airs on one of their biggest networks it's been pretty cool and walking around Germany it's always uh, it's always hectic but it's it's fun it's Good times, good times. Yeah, we uh, we had some fun uh, together in uh, in Germany at the, that one gym over there. We did yeah. a good arm workout, yeah. and we didn't have really time to eat together because uh, I've been You're dieting. dieting yeah. yeah, but it's I think dieting mm, was for nothing. Mm, no, I'm just kidding. I'm just <laughs> playing with you, man. This is supposed to be a fun interview. <laughs> uh, I'm too still soon. laughing. Too soon. Too soon. Yeah, you know, it's know. okay. It's okay. I, I I can take it. You know. Yeah. Uh, it's all right. That was, that was like a week and a half ago. Yeah, it's all right. <laughs> Who cares anyway? You know what Arnold said, the past is the past, the future that, that, that counts. So what you do now for the future that counts. Yeah, man. So in the future, you think a match between Antoine Vaillant, Furious Pete, in an eating match would be kind of cool to see. It's got to happen. We've if been you, talking about it way too much. I know. Like I'm like we're talking too much about because it. Because I, I, I know that's this. what you're famous for. You know, like you're not that good in shape it that well, but you eat a lot of food. So what if I go over there and I would actually destroy you in an eating contest? Yeah. That, what would you have left? Well, I'd probably have to kill you and eat you as a result, and so that nobody found out. So you like eating man meat? Yeah, like a cannibal. <laughs> yeah, I guess. But actually... <laughs> come here, come here, come here, come here. You want to play this game? I'm going to play this game. We'll play this game. Okay, come okay, on, okay. Come on, bring it, bring no, actually, there's a restaurant uh, near my, my own place in Laval. It's called La Belle et la Boeuf. And they have this burger. It's called the Epic Burger. It's like five floors of patties with peanut butter, Nutella, bacon, score bars, a uh, bunch of crap in there. I, know, I heard that and I had a mouth gasm. Yeah. That just sounds awesome. Yeah, I want two of those. Yeah. Oh my gosh, could you eat two of those? I think I could. It's, it says 20,000 calories on it. I think it's, it's made up. I think, but it's, I think they just don't know because there's so much <laughs> shit on it. You're just like, what? Yeah, so... Who makes a burger like that? I don't know, yeah. those guys over French there. People. Yeah, French people. We made the poutine, man. I mean, that nah, makes that, no sense, right? It, does, it makes no sense, but it's. I'm so glad you guys made it. And it's poutine, okay, ever. poutine. Let's take a moment here. Quebec History 101. Poutine is French fries with mystery brown gravy and cheese curds together. Mystery brown. Mm -hmm. brown. A special sauce. Special sauce. So... Pete is gonna come to my place, and we're gonna eat the big burger together. Yeah. Burger face off, and uh, yeah. it's gonna be on video at some point. So check that out. That's you have your own YouTube, YouTube, YouTube channel, right? Of course, youtubecom Uh We just passed 400,000 subscribers, so oh, nice. yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's awesome. It's good times. I do some fitness videos, but not as intense as this guy. But I just, I just do fitness for fun and have yeah. a good time. You know, live the right lifestyle, yeah. not not professionally, like yeah. like like Mr. Oh, Antoine. Wait, wait, wait. Actually, you have a really cool motivating story too. Try to keep it short. Um, you actually uh, had an um, eating disorder before. I anorexia, did. right? I did. I uh, was hospitalized for anorexia in 2002. My heart nearly stopped. And uh, yeah, my life was, well, it was pretty shitty back then. Uh, my, both my parents were both hospitalized. I was, well, I just pretty much started taking food as a form of control just to forget about all these negative issues going on. And um, it took me like three and a half years to fully overcome like everything that was going on because it's mostly like a mental disorder. You see something else that was going on. And um, yeah, and then I was living a normal life for a little while and then went out for breakfast after a night of partying with the boys. And one of my buddies uh, challenged me to challenge really anyone at the table to try and break a record in a restaurant. And I doubled it. 
it. And then I just started posting videos on YouTube. Eventually got asked to come to uh, eating contest in California. I won that one, then I won 20 in a row, and then here we are today. He has the world record for the, the steak eating. Yeah. And like, how, like eating hot dogs, eh, whatever, a Japanese guy does it get good, but the steak? That's manly as meat you can eat. Like manly right. meat you can eat, you can eat, uh, eat, and he has a record for it. Well, like what? What is it? 72 ounce steak in uh, six minutes 48 seconds, and then right across the street, literally at Lone Star, right there, I did uh, 72 ounce steak in seven minutes 16 seconds. So if you go in, my face is right there. <laughs> so <laughs> awesome. See, that's impressive. It's delicious, delicious. Yeah. So uh, right. thank you. That steak shouldn't be eaten that fast, though. Let's be honest. No, you probably die after that. No, no, not only that, it's a steak, man. You gotta appreciate it. Yeah. You gotta, like, you know, make sure it's medium rare and appreciate everything. Appreciate the meat. The meat. The that. man meat. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. It's getting really bad. Yeah. Thank you, Nick. Yeah, so what's next for you? Um, I'm going to go to corner and cry because it was a terrible uh, yeah. weekend again. Yeah. <laughs> you looked awesome. Listen, bro, you looked awesome. I know, I know. No, you did. You trained really hard, yeah. and uh, you'll get them for sure because you got you got the people backing you. You know that, right? Yeah. You got an awesome fan base, and you got the right attitude, bro. Yeah, that's funny. And that's why you're awesome, and that's why I'm trying to help you too, and that's why you're helping me. And That's right, man. All right. Thank you very much. Well, I'm not going to talk about me because I talk about me all the time. So... Yeah. <laughs> So, but yeah, thank you, Nick. Thank you, Pete. It was a really cool interview and a very motivating. I hope you guys take the time to listen to it. And um, thank you. Yeah, I guess it's over. Thank you, MD people. Thank you, <laughs> I Universal. I guess it's over. Okay, I bye. guess it's over.